everyone and welcome to Katha by Shraddha. As you can see, we are getting into the spirit of the season. I have my snowman decoration here. I have my jingle bells. I have my little instruments here. And I'm waiting to get my Christmas tree. But I thought, why not do a story for you just as we're getting ready for Christmas? And maybe you have guessed which story it is? That's right. It's a story about a beautiful animal that lived in a place that we all know and love, the North Pole. Yes, near Santa's house. There lived a little reindeer called Rudolph. And Rudolph was a very special reindeer. He had a very bright and shiny red nose. Everywhere in the North Pole, his nose was pretty famous. It attracted a lot of attention. The elves saw Rudolph walking by and they whispered to themselves and said, Look, 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 there is Rudolph. His nose is so shiny. Elves love shiny things. And when the penguins who were visiting from the South Pole, wearing the nice Hawaiian jackets, saw him, they said, oh, Look, we've never seen such a sight at the South Pole. This must be Rudolph. And they took pictures of him. And even Mrs. Santa Claus's relatives that were visiting her during the holiday season used to point at him and say, Oh, look, there is a very special reindeer. He has a very bright and shiny red nose. All this attention made Rudolph become a very shy reindeer. Even with his friends, he was very shy. He used to go up to them and say, can I play some games with you? And you know, reindeers play a lot of games. They play games like Monopoly. They play soccer. They play um, hide and seek. They could even play flying tag. But when Rudolph went up to them and asked them, can I play with you? They used to say, Rudolph, you know, today we're playing hide and seek and that's not such a good game with your um, shiny red nose. We'll see you coming from miles away. So what could poor Rudolph do? And as he walked away, sometimes he saw one of the reindeers grabbing Monopoly or a soccer ball and he knew, he knew why they were le not letting him play with him. They're just being a little mean and they didn't want to be seen with him because he was a little different. And he got to be very sad. So he used to be crying next to his mother and you say, Mommy, I wish, I wish I never, ever, ever, ever got this shiny red nose. It's of no use to absolutely anybody and least of all me. I hate it. And poor Rudolph used to cry his heart out. Now one day, Santa decided as it came closer to Christmas time and he was trying to make new gifts and toys for children, that he wanted to create something very different. He wanted to try his hands at making a fog bike. What do you think that is? Yes, a bicycle that when you pedal it, it makes fog. And then the fog can spread around. So he thought it would be a very good addition for parties where you can have fog and dancing. So he started building a fog bike in his factory. And just as, the, as Christmas came closer and closer, the fog bike was almost ready to go and done. The elves found an instruction booklet on how to use it. And they're like, hmm, this looks very interesting. They were very mischievous elves. So they decided to make some fog. And what did these elves do? They started jumping up and down in alternate rhythm on the pedals and pedaling the bike. First they went slow and then they went a bit faster. Faster and faster and faster and faster and soon the whole room was filled with fog and the fog started drifting out of the windows outside the factory and spread all over Toyland. Santa had no clue. He was getting ready on Christmas Eve to go on his sleigh to deliver all the gifts to all the children around the world. So he went and had a nice bath and then he combed his beautiful long hair and he combed and brushed out his lovely silky white beard and then he put on his nice red hat and he donned his beautiful grand red suit and then, oh, he put on his belt, oh, with the nice shiny buckle 
and then he pulled up his nice black boots and he said, Mrs. Claus, I will see you on Christmas. I'm going off for my annual tour of the world, delivering gifts to children. Ho, 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 ho. And Santa opened the door of his house to step out. And he couldn't see a thing. He couldn't even see his hand in front of him. There was so much fog everywhere. What can Santa do now? Oh no. So he called out to his reindeer. He said, Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen and Comet and Blitzen. Where are you? Cupid, where are you? And he couldn't see them at all and they couldn't see him. So Santa decided to use a special whistle to call them. And this is how it sounds. Santa blew it. One whistle for every reindeer. And they all followed the sound of the whistle and came up to Santa. And Santa said, my dear reindeer team, what do we do? We can't see a thing. How can we ever, ever take off in this really dark, dark, foggy, foggy night? What did they do? What could they do? And then, then Santa remembered this one shy little reindeer who could probably help him. And he whistled an extra long whistle for sweet little Rudolph. <coughs> Rudolph, we need you! And slowly and steadily from behind Santa's house, they came a beautiful diffused red glow and it started coming closer and closer to Santa following the notes of that whistle and Rudolph sidled up to Santa's side and said Santa you whistled and Santa said yes Rudolph Rudolph with your nose so bright won't you guide my sleigh tonight <gasps> you mean it Santa yes I most definitely will. I would love to guide your sleigh tonight. And Rudolph was the happiest little reindeer that ever was. And with his happiness, his nose began to shine even brighter and brighter. And it lit up the sky. And that was just what Santa needed. As the sleigh started rising up in the sky. And Santa gave out his customary laugh. Ho, 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 ho as the sleigh rose high in the sky and started shooting across to all parts of the world. And then after he delivered all the gifts and presents, they came home and Santa said, Rudolph, you will always guide my sleigh and you will go down in history as Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer. And then they had a party and everybody celebrated and Rudolph was a very, very, very happy member of Santa's team. And every Christmas Eve, Santa called out to his reindeer and he sang, On Dasher, on Dancer, on Prancer, on Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen, where are you? And do you know the most famous reindeer of all? Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose and if you ever saw him you would even say it glows. All of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names. They never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer game. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then how the reindeer loved him, as they shouted out with glee, with glee, Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, you'll go down in history. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, you go down in history.
Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed that little story filled with Christmas spirit. Bye.